guys, me is Asman11 here, and today we're going to learn how exactly to make a Roblox thumbnail, um, sort of like the ones that I have made already. Now, most people don't know how to do this, um, so I'm just going to have a little tutorial. It's actually rather easy. This is one hard part that you're going to have to adjust to. Now, the requirements for this, um, well, there are other ways to do it, but the way I'm doing it, you're going to need a C-Frame tool installed and ready for your computer. I am not going to have a tutorial on how to download that. You're going to have to look it up separately. And you're also going to have a YouTube partnership with your channel, so that way you can upload custom thumbnails. Um, it's pretty easy to get that. It's completely free. Um, you can look up another tutorial on that to find out how to do it. So let's get started. I'm going to go to roblox.com, and you're going to make a place. And I have a decal ready um, for this type of place now. Um, I already have one set up, so I am just going to start that as soon as my Roblox Studio upgrades. <sighs> now configuring. Alright. So I finally got it to work. It took like 10 minutes for the download for some reason. And, um,. Right now we have, I have the thumbnail poses for Galleon's um, Let's Play that I have done previously. I'm trying to see if I can find it. Um, there it is. So that's the thumbnail pose I made for the Galleon's video. And um, we are going to make the Let's Play for Roblox Battle. It's not that hard. So I don't think, so I, now I have me and Ultra Lemon. I don't think I'm going to need them. So basically, um, yeah, by the way, you're going to need a room like this, just like a small room with green screen. I'll have a decal for it. Just make a little room um, with blocks in the middle. I don't know why he's on top of the roof there. But yeah, so I am going to make myself holding a bazooka because in Roblox Battle, that's like the primary weapon is a bazooka. So I need to um, uh, first get the bazooka. So you're just going to look up the gear you want to use. Um, well, let me just look up Roblox Rocket Launcher. I have misspelled launcher. There we go. No. Press no when that comes up. And you're going to get a bazooka. Apparently this needs to be rotated a bit, so you're just going to use, that's not, that's the wrong one. Just kind of experiment with the rotation tool until you kind of find out what's the correct way to do it. I have just found out, so I am going to move that. So it looks like I'm actually grabbing it. Make it kind of go into your avatar's hand a little bit. By the way, I, I have another tutorial, I will make another tutorial on how to make your avatar statues. Um, it's not that hard. But I'll just, this is a tutorial to show you how to animate them and for your thumbnails use. So my other arm also needs to, actually, hmm, I don't know, Roblox battle is very kind of weird with that. You only have to with one hand. Maybe I can have a sword in the other hand. That actually look pretty badass. So, um, let me move, now name your character Dot, by the way. I forgot to mention that. And you're going to, um, uh, I'm, well, I'm going to do this. You rotate your arm, you just have to go into your thing, and, you know, move it around. That's the wrong thing. Much I don't know, arm. I don't know why I'm calling it a thing. So, alright, it's lagging a lot. So I'm moving my arm like that, so it looks kind of like I'm walking almost. Now I want to rotate my hat a little bit so I'm facing kind of centered. Um, by the way, the insert a hat onto your guy, that's actually, never mind, that's in the statue making video I'm going to do. So now I'm going to do a Roblox Battle Sword. I don't know, Roblox Battle Sword. Um, here's... 
here it is. So you're going to press no once. Well, the insert the gear, you just press no every time. And you're going to rotate it to like so it looks like your guy is using it. So I'm going to move that down. So now my guy is not. And I'm just going to group the two gears and my stature together so I can move them around a lot easier. Well, actually, let me just move them into my. I have to move them individually into my uh, statue. I forgot if you group a statue, it'll go, it'll go naked. I don't know why. This also applies to get rid of the humanoid. If you get rid of the humanoid as well, so there is me with my all holiness, and um, so I'm gonna. So I'm almost gonna be like blow. I'm gonna be blowing him up a bit. So I'm gonna act like I'm blowing him up. So, so I'm gonna have an angle, sort of like it angled around. So actually, I'm going to um, uh, have a noob. No wait, I'm just gonna have it. I have too many photos of him running away like a pussy. I need him, uh, a noob. Noob. It's lagging severely for me. Noob! Yes, I'm, thank god I found a normal noob. Do 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 So I'm gonna make this noob kind of just standing there like hi hi Dylan I'm gonna make him actually holding a sword on this arm. Um that's his right arm. So, gonna make him hold that sword. And I need my Roblox battle sword again. No. And I'm going to rotate this like pre like other stuff to the characters just like liking. I move that down. Do do do. That sword's a lot farther away from him than I thought. There we go. So let's kind of get. I'm just gonna have me versus the noob in the shot. For some reason, I'm lagging so bad that I can't really do anything. The key thing I always do when I'm lagging is I open and I close the program. See, so much better. So I'm going to try to find an angle that best suits the snoob. So, um, 
So now to get rid of like, the name of Dot, you have to go into his humanoid. You have to make the max health zero, normal health zero, and then you're gonna change the model name to simply Dot because that comes in a, that comes in handy a lot later on. So now I'm ready to take my picture. So this, there's a start button on your keyboard, and um, all you have to do is hold down that and S at the same time, and your screen's gonna go like a little gray, and there's gonna be this little cross thing. Just move that, click and drag it, and hold hi and make sure that they're unhighlighted in like the perfect shape. Then stop clicking it. You're gonna get this window to pop up if you haven't installed. I don't really, I don't even know how I got this program, but. I learned it off YouTube. You're just gonna copy that, and now you're going to paste it. Let me just delete. I was just making a thumbnail earlier. I'm gonna paste that. To All right. Um, I need to copy that again. I messed up. I'm gonna paste it. To GIMP. So I'm gonna move it in the center. Now you're gonna use your fuzzies. Now you have it. The hardest part's now over. This is pretty much the easy part. I'm assuming you have GIMP installed. If you don't, then it sucks to be you. So you're just gonna have to cut all the green background. I recommend making your threshold at least around like 50. That's but so if you notice, it's working perfectly for me. However, the noob in his pants is not. Let's. I need to lower the trestle a little bit. There we go. Oh wait! I, now I gotta take care of the little minor details, like in the middle of his sword there. And I believe there's something right there. And, um, in the bazooka. And I believe that's it. So, now I am going to do one last thing. I'm going to make the threshold really large, and I mean like 130. Actually, 120 is probably better. And you're going to delete this dot. So, and now the dots are deleted. So now you have your just your guys just standing there. So now it's time to scale them to a more appropriate size for the picture. Now, since they made them so far apart, they're going to be a little smaller, but that's not too big of a deal. There we go. I think that's the perfect size right there at the bottom of the screen. Let me just make them a little bit bigger. Thing is, I don't like. I don't really like to show my legs in my photos. Yeah, I think most people who make thumbnails um, do that as well. All right, so I'm making that pretty far back. I'm gonna delete my old text. I forgot to do that earlier. So now you're gonna go to this website. Um, to get like the cool fonts and stuff. Go to this website. Um, just give me a second. I have to backspace the longest URL in the history of URLs right here for some reason. And I'm going to go to Google. I'm going to go to cooltext.com. I just go cool text and go here. And you're going to get all these little fonts and things. Most of them um, aren't really thumbnail worthy in my opinion. However, the one I use the most 
is either, um, it's called Glossy or Keen. I always use Keen for my thumbnails and Glossy for my title pages. So Keen, I'm going to type in, um, let's play Roblox. Oh, by the way, I always kind of customize it so they're, so it's a white title. And I always make them, uh, the outline width, I make that 5. That's what I do. Copy that. Now, don't save it. Just copy it. You're going to paste it, and then you're going to to new layer. You're going to scale it. Just try to find the appropriate size. I think I found mine. So let's play Roblox. Now we have to type in the actual title of the video. I'm just typing in Roblox Battle. Paste that in. Make it a separate layer. I'm going to scale that and try to make it as close to the size as possible to the other title. I might have to make it smaller due to the characters. Yeah, I do. I, I have to make it smaller. I'm also going to make the other parts smaller as well. So now I'm going to select the background. That's your thumbnail. I'm just going to change the colors, um, the color for the background, the hue saturation. Okay. Alright, there we go. So that is my thumbnail tutorial, and um, I'm just gonna, you have to export it if you want a, a PNG file. I'm gonna call it, let's play Roblox Battle. Export that. You're gonna get this menu that doesn't matter. And you are done. So, that's pretty much, I'm um, closed up saving. Now I'm going to go to my YouTube channel and upload that thumbnail. Video manager. I'm now going to go to the video I need to upload it to. I don't know if it's on the first page. Um, where is it? Uh, there it is. Info. You're going to go to Info and Settings. I'm going to double click this. I already have a thumbnail in its place, so I'm just going to re-upload it. You're going to go to the folder it is in. NG Next Gen Thumbnails. And you are going to go down to um, the thumbnail you made. Let's play LL. Where is it? Let's play Roblox Battle. I am going to upload that thumbnail. It should take around an hour for it to actually upload. Um, but that's it. You're going to save the changes. Make sure it saves. And now you can leave. And that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm going to be doing this for Minecraft as well. And um, that's it. Subscribe and like the video if you really liked it. And it helped you a lot. So, bye.